What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to go over some news stories you might have missed for September 13th and parts of September 14th. This is kind of the calm before the storm, right? We had the gigantic Nintendo Direct, which was awesome, and then we had maybe the best PlayStation State of Play, not Showcase, State of Play, and now it's a little quiet as we move into now tomorrow, which let's start off with this, kind of looking to the future. Tomorrow, TGS begins. And really the thing to pay attention to tomorrow is Microsoft, right? Microsoft is going to have a one-hour show. And while I don't know if there'll be any necessarily new things, like new games announced, I doubt it. I think they are going to make a huge splash in terms of Game Pass. This is definitely an opportunity to drop some beloved, uh, you know, whether it be old or relatively old or, you know, whatever whatever definition you want to use, uh, games that are more Japanese-centric. If they want to drop those on Game Pass, that would be awesome. So that's what's to look forward to tomorrow. And then Friday is, oh my God, I mean, it's Konami, it's Sega Atlas, it's Square Enix, it's Capcom. That day should be awesome. And remember, because it happens in Tokyo and it's so late in the day for them, it's actually very early in the morning for us, or at least here in the United States. So uh, by the time you wake up, some of these things have already happened or are going on, you know, when you wake up. So Thursday, Friday should be really, really cool um, for maybe some of the more like low key announcements you're not necessarily expecting. And then as for what's happened, you know, previously over the last day or so, I'm not going to talk about the Nintendo Direct or the, the state of play, right? We made kind of videos on that on their own, but there was PSVR 2 impressions that were done today. Now, I don't look too hard into specifically VR. I have a couple different VR headsets, one of them being PSVR, the original, and I really do believe when people said back in the day, like, you just need to play it, you need to put on the headset and try it, explaining it or even showing it doesn't necessarily work. It doesn't really capture what VR is. I fully believe that. And, and maybe that's corny or, you know, cliche or whatever, but I, I still believe that to this day. So while the games that they, you know, played, these previews, they played Horizon, they played Walking Dead, they played the Star Wars game that they showed yesterday, they played one more as well. So while we're getting these impressions, at the end of the day, for me, it's like I, I think I just kind of need to get it because ultimately they can say whatever they want, but whatever improvements happened between VR1 and VR2, those you're just going to have to, I think, experience on your... And then the idea of what VR does to you, you know, and by the way, it's not for everybody. I totally get that. That you kind of just need to, like, do it yourself. You need to put yourself in the headset and play it. Because, again, previews and impressions, like, especially words, you know, like reading a, reading a blog post, which is what I, I did for uh, PSVR2 just now, you know, that, that really is not going to help you all that much, in my opinion. That's not how I would um, judge anything off the specs of VR2 or the games themselves. But that is, if you guys want to look that up, IGN did stuff, GameSpot did stuff, a lot of different sites uh, got their hands on different VR games, and that's up uh, this morning. Next up is Gotham Knights images. It's actually the same image but just two different ways uh actually i believe playstation did it first where they posted the image of the court of owls and they did the nice little line and then the gotham knights i think i think they posted after which i always find funny when like sony or, or microsoft or whoever beats the actual developers to the the twitter post which is a a little funny but it looks great and it continues to reinforce at least to me this idea that I really think there can be things that they surprise us with in this game. I actually just made a video a few days ago on the main channel talking about like what could be the surprise hits that we're not really thinking about in this game. And the Court of Owls has always been one to me. I would not be surprised if I walked out of that game and thought, wow, they really did well with the Court of Owls. Like that was a great story. They they made them very believable villains, but very like epic villains, right? In a way, uh, I, I've always thought that like ever since that, you know, the, the original announcement that they're going to be the villains of the game. Um, and the picture, I mean, it's a picture, it's an image, <laughs> you know, you, you can't read too much into it, but they do look very cool. I, I've always liked the design. You got that kind of haunting atmosphere to the image. So I am. I'm really hoping they nail the specific. I mean, if they nail anything, can it at least be, you know, the story and the Court of Owls and the villains just in general? That that would be uh, that would be very good. And finally, we have Deathloop kind of making an appearance on the Xbox, uh, you know, the, the store just in general. So one year ago, I actually saw this Deathloop story before I remembered this. One year ago today is when Deathloop came out, uh, September 14th. So it's been one year. This tends to be how it, you know I mean, goes. Ghostwire Tokyo is most likely a year. I think it is a year. Deathloop was a year. So 
as of now, it's not exclusive to PlayStation anymore. Now, that doesn't mean today or tomorrow it'll be on Xbox, but it could. It absolutely could. In fact, they could even do that. Now, would that make sense at TGS to announce something like that? Maybe, maybe not. But uh, anytime they want now, at this point, Microsoft, you know, whatever deal has to be made, they could do the deal and they would be on, you know, the Xbox platform. So it's already been spotted. I believe it's on, like, the dashboard. But if you click it, it's like an empty page. So it's, like, kind of there. Like, you can see that they're, I think, in the back end, they're getting it ready, right? I think that's that's probably what people have spotted so far. They're getting it ready, but you can't purchase it. As of now, I mean, I'm recording this at... 11 30 in the morning my time i mean <laughs> maybe by two three o'clock a, a later day announcement uh they announced that death loop is available right um but i think it'll happen within the next little while i don't know again if necessarily today or tomorrow but i'd be shocked if we left september and death loop was and it'll be on game pass too remember that so that that'll be pretty cool but i'd be shocked if we left september and uh death loop was not available on xbox so those are the stories. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. And I'll see you all on tomorrow's video.